<laughs> of course, of course, the screen goes live right as I'm coughing into my sleeve. Of course, I have the volume up on my phone. Hang on, hang on. Got one more place I gotta put this. There we go. All right. What is going on? We are. We're almost done. Gotta finish up the bottom. That's it. For the chainmail portion of it, right? Still have the leather work to do. Hey, Barb, how you doing? All right. So I'm gonna make a few more of these uh, triangles. Meh. I'm doing all right. I had a pretty good day. All things considered. Got my house cleaned. Which is important. All right. Let's turn Frank on and get to work here. So we'll be making a few more of these, but we're only gonna do like four rows. <clears throat> to finish off the bottom and hopefully it works. Right? One, one of my patients uh, had a family member who passed away over the weekend, so that was kind of rough to walk into to that this morning. It was very, um, it was a, a rollover accident. Um, so they were, they were all very, I would kind of fragile, I would say. But, uh, 
had some reschedules for to see people and after that I saw the rest of my patients and got done got home got the house cleaned up because I lazed about all weekend So I had, uh, what am I doing? So my house is pretty nice and clean right now. For about five more minutes until my, until my kid destroys it. It is, it was too bad. It was pretty unexpected from, well, I mean, it was completely unexpected, right? It was just a tragic way for her to go. I guess a, a vehicle rolled into a ditch is what I gathered from what they were talking about. that I saw today they were doing all right got them taken care of and all in all it was a pretty good day so now that the house is clean hopefully tomorrow I can get some of my some of the stuff on my lists done. Some of that is for mail works and some of that is for the house and I have to go to the post office. I gotta mail off Christmas. Still have Christmas presents to mail off. try and do that tomorrow. I hate going to the post office though. It's not hard, it's just I don't want to do it ever. I need to get it set up so that I can like I have a scale so why don't I get on like stamps.com or something and start printing printing labels. And I think you can just drop them off. I just don't like going down there. Uh oh, lost a ring. Um. All right. Well, the vacuum will probably have to find that one. Not a major setback. Just some gravity right there. I was looking back at some of the videos and I think we started this on like video 16 or 18 something like that and we've got uh, almost 20 hours into this bottle one project 20 hours and many of those go over an hour or so who knows what it it probably is over 20 already, maybe not 20 streams, but 
It's a good sized project, you know. Of course, half that's the roadblocks we ran into along the way. So, yeah, it's been a lot dedicated to just this one project. So. Um, where am I at here? I think I've gone too far. Come on, lay flat. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, ten. There we go. So some interesting news, right? Just kind of disturbing. Um, follow what's going on in the states, but uh, we had Amazon remove an app from their uh, servers right Amazon runs Amazon web services and uh, that that is where the app for for mailworks is is hosted so like I don't think they'll remove an app about chain mail right I really don't see that happening but you know the fact that they removed it at all Kind of disconcerting, to say the least. So it's like, do I do I shop around for a different web service provider or a different? Uh, for somewhere else to put the app onto their servers I don't know as much as I would love a, a standalone you know to have all the things I needed to launch and host a, an app you know here in my house I, I'm just not there yet maybe one day I think it'll be fine to stick with keeping it on Amazon just kind of unprecedented. Uh, it was an app called Parlor, and they deleted it. Um, you will, you will. Uh, if you ask 
some people they will say it's because it was full of white supremacists and um, people were inciting violence on there I mean but it's that's not quite what happened So, like I said, I'm not too worried about it happening to a chainmail app. Say no more? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about then? I mean, as far as I know, it's not the first app they've ever removed from their services, so I could be wrong. I'm sure I'll be fine. I just, why am I throwing rings on the ground? Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's that's half of one. We're gonna just make a couple of these. Do we not do it right? Hmm. Oh, we'll have to fix that in a minute. Yeah, you heard too much about it, I'm sure. It's all, it's all over the place right now. It's ridiculous. All right. And it, I mean, it, talk about it doesn't want to die down or move on. It's like we're stuck in November 3rd for two months now. avoid making that mistake in the future where I have to redo this layer here all right Find out your mom was exposed to COVID on the seventh. How's she doing? Some people are able to just walk it off, and others are affected by it pretty badly. So it seems. She seems to be okay. That's good. Let's hope that continues. All right. None of you in the house are sick. Still scary? Yeah. been one thing I have been concerned about the uh, some of my patients are immunocompromised and I definitely don't want to be bringing it into their homes when when I see them so or anything else for that matter and so far no one's been sick
What's just dead? You don't know how you guys got exposed? Your mom, your mom is immunocompromised? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, come on. It was one of our care workers who brought it in. Yeah. I believe it. I mean, if it's as contagious as they're all saying, it's going to be very uh, problematic to keep it from spreading. Are you the only one here? Is that a Monday thing? I saw some people pop in real quick. I don't know who they were. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's, it's just you. Just you and me hanging out. I appreciate the support. You know, people have lives and I, I do this every night, so it's not like they're gonna miss me. You know what I mean? This damn ring does not want to stay on the right side. Someone might pop in later. But it's 9 o'clock where I'm at, 10 o'clock on the East Coast. So it's like morning time and early morning time in the UK. Right, so. Anyone who would want to watch, half of them are, of the people that would want to watch, half of them are in bed, you know what I mean? You appreciate me, you appreciate me being here? Oh, well thank you, you're welcome. I think I might take a night off tomorrow if we finish this tonight what? this ring is being a pain in the butt oh my gosh come on Seven, eight, nine. Screwed up on that one. And I don't, you know, I think I've mentioned this before. These are for being posted to my blog for search engine optimization purposes. I just do it here because you know, I, I'll get some engagement with people. So...
It's okay if people don't, you know, aren't here every time I am. It's the keeping the content or keeping the conversation going when you're by yourself that it's kind of a hassle. I think I've gotten better at it over 40 streams, but that is a drop in the bucket compared to what some people do. So maybe by this time next year, I will be able to hold decent conversation while also making chain mail. If we can do, that would be awesome if we could do this for like a year. I hope, you know, I'd like to do it every time I make chain mail, but, and hopefully I'll be doing it longer than a year. But, uh, at least one year of doing this would be nice. You know, just, I'm just recording what I would be doing anyway. Excuse me. be nice right like I know I know we've had I think at most like nine people watching at one time right it would be nice to have a thousand people watching right that would be amazing and so if doing this turns into something more successful than just making videos and putting them on my website, right? Um, that would also be awesome too. But that's like a happy circumstance as opposed to something I'm working towards, right? Like, like I definitely wanna have a little bit more of a professional setup here at the house. So, um, I don't need that, I just need this. You know, to put on a professional looking show, like that would be ideal. I don't have to have Oh, come on, don't tell me I screwed it up again. No, I I swear I checked this. Why is this not working now? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just keep going like that. <laughs> okay. So I need to move this row over to here. I guess. But for some reason, I thought I had double checked to make sure that the one we were working on would, maybe did I flip this over or something? It's gonna be the same way, right? Yeah. I must have just looked at it wrong. Cause these, all these rows are the same. All right, whatever. As long as we figure it out, I'm not too concerned about it.
That beeping is the foot massager. <laughs> Definitely nice to have that going this evening. to add to my list of things to do I gotta start looking up shows for this year right I'm not gonna be able to make it to Florida so I need to try and find something else something over the summer math is wrong on here right and I'll tell you why so I just realized that to piece these together in the bottom here that will add an additional ring at each seam right so if each trapezoid or triangle is 10 rings wide. Once you close it all up, it'll be 66 rings around. So, so then they need to be nine rings wide, right? Six pieces, nine rings wide would be 54. And then each additional ring in the seam would make it a total of 60. Does that make sense to anybody else? Yeah, okay. Now that I've screwed this up entirely. One, two, three, four, five. I'm glad I realized that. Not a lot of work to fix, but it's kind of like if it had all been seamed together that would have been a nightmare to undo and get it correct right so you could probably just hide the rings at that point it would probably be pretty unnoticeable but for the sake of trying to make this as well as possible right all right Excuse me. Yeah. Like if each one is nine rings wide, the seam would be the tenth ring, right? Six pieces, it's times nine, it'd be 54 rings around, and then each seam would add an additional ring. Right? Like, I think that sounds correct. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. And this is all, you know, This is all based on the idea that this is even going to work to begin with, right? This, it all might end up being too loose. So we'll see. Hey, 
Hi, Linda. Thanks for hopping on the stream. Thanks for the like. I do appreciate it. One, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. How are you tonight? Five rows up, and we'll make it nine rings across. Then we'll have four pieces done. How long? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We only got. Only a little bit left, only a little bit of time left. Oh, I thought we were, I thought for sure we would like have these done fairly quickly. What am I thinking? It's chain mail, it never goes quickly. All right, Barb, have a good night. All right. I don't know. We've got this much done so far. We're adding one more here. We need a total of six of these little trapezoid pieces. So I guess we'll just have to try and get as many as we can done tonight. And then we'll have to test fit it and see if it works for the bottom of the bottle. But let's hope it works. to pull all the rings closed in the center at the bottom of the bottle. Um, if, if these trapezoids are too loose, right? Here's, here's what we're dealing with. Let's see if I can give you a visual. Right. Those have to line up. The edges of those trapezoids in the bottom of this bottle. Now from what I've looked at, it looks like it's going to be too wide for the bottom of the bottle. But, you know, you, you never know until you try. One, two, three, four, five, six. So hopefully, hopefully it'll just work. Or hopefully we can make it work. That way we're not chasing down extra. Ch uh, chasing down extra thought processes that you know we don't we don't need to be having this close to the end of the project. All 
I would like to finish this one soon. Man, time is flying. Come on. Oh, I think I added one too many rings up top there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this will be nine. Okay, that matches up. Good. We're four done. You know, four's not bad. Well, okay, that's not true. One was already pretty much done. We just had to adjust the rows a little bit. So, it was mostly done. We fixed that, made the rows all match up, and now now we have four. I need, I need four closed rings to start European 4 and 1. I should know that. You would think.
three, five. I can count. It's five. It's five rows wide. Oh, come on. Okay, and then we'll add the ends to this. Noticed the other day I was listening to the stream and whenever I'm it really comes in loudly over the microphone. Sorry for whoever's watching. And my mouse pad does not cut it. We'll see. Maybe next payday. to flip over and as soon as you fix one the other one does it all right screw it we'll fix this one first and then instead of trying to fight it I think that's going to do it for this one. That's five. One more. So now I wondered. Now here's a question, right?
the the okay the number of rings goes around the bottom of the bottle right is 60 so we need to make a bottom that has 60 rings going around the outside right so my initial thought was to do my initial thought was six triangles and I made one triangle and it, it looked too large so then I thought okay I'll just use some trapezoids see if we can figure out a way to tighten it up a little bit then now that I'm here at five right what would happen if we extended these five to to end up being 12 rings apiece right along along the bottom so they're that's that's 60 rings right but instead of being the f uh, hexagon it's a pentagon right which would tighten it up even more what if we just did a square made every one 15 rings a piece right because I'm thinking if we do the full hexagon it's not going to do anything it's not going to tighten it up at all right if we just do four sides right I've had some luck doing that with other other pieces hell so I thought that getting those six pieces done was, you know, going to be faster. And now I'm glad it wasn't because now that this has come up, it seems like a much better idea. Because if we put a if we put a hexagon on the bottom of it, it's just I don't think it's going to tighten up enough. But this, I think we can get it tight enough to to hold bottles in place and we'll we'll put some additional rings in the center to close it up so it'll any of them a square a um, pentagon or hexagon you know we would have closed up right I'm just That seems a little small. So maybe, I don't know what 12 rings looks like. 12 rings around all the way around? I don't know. Um, I just think that that would be a lot easier to tighten up. So, I was hoping to finish this tonight. But... Clearly, we have some more things that need to be answered. So, I tell you what, I will be back tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, then Wednesday at the latest, to work on this and figure this out. I think this is the best option. Oh. Excuse me. So, thanks so much for hanging out. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Hopefully. Ugh. I have a hair in my mouth. That was gross. Oh. Yeah, so hopefully, uh, 
we'll be able to come back tomorrow night lengthen each of these a little bit connect them together put them on the bottom of the wine bottle here and we'll be good to go all right so I will see you guys later you guys